Well, New Jersey became the first state in the nation last year requiring students to learn about media literacy during their K-12 education. The sweeping law signed by Governor Murphy is designed to combat misinformation and help students navigate social media and news outlets so they can determine which sources are credible. Senior correspondent Joanna Gagas checked in with a group of Princeton middle schoolers to see if their lessons are making a difference. It says it was recorded on a documentary, at, but it, it didn't show up, so I just think it's fake. These middle school students were charged with determining whether two images from the internet are real or fake using reverse image searching. It's a critical skill they're learning in their media literacy course at Princeton Montessori School. He uses this artificial sword to disguise himself in order to take various pictures of wildlife. That actually makes sense because he's like disguising himself. Yeah. So it's real. We've been looking for sources and we found that it's a TV series. It's staged. And we are now starting to believe that it might be, it might have been staged. That was such a convincing video, it garnered 300 million views on TikTok. All this is to say, it's not easy to spot, you know, real from fake. Their teacher, Aish Sami, is a member of the News Literacy Project, a nonprofit organization that's working with teachers to develop best practices around teaching media literacy. My hope and dreams for the students when they walk out of the classroom is to feel, they feel empowered to sort of analyze the information if there is need be and be more informed consumers of cyberspace. Last year, the Murphy administration passed a law requiring media literacy education for all students grades K through 12, but Kim Zito, a librarian who teaches media literacy in South Brunswick, says the initiative is stalled. The bill passed for an information literacy standards to be developed, but they haven't started yet. Um, I'm one of the volunteers who has, um, you know, stepped up to try to write the standards and we've been waiting since January of 23 to get started. The state of New Jersey needs to um, get this going in a more timely fashion. Zito also teaches middle schoolers and, along with Sammy, points to the rapidly changing world of AI that's infiltrating kids' screens on a daily basis. It's good to catch them at this time of their lives while they're just beginning. Um, I talk to them about standard-based news. Um, I use resources from the News Literacy Project, which has some fantastic free resources for educators. And they get it. My middle school students get the importance of um, checking their sources and um, you know, verifying information. It allowed me to make sure that I don't get duped or anything, which could help to keep me my mental me mentally stable. Could make sure I don't lose money on a scam or something. And it'll, it's just always good to feel like you know the truth. So something really important, like a, a national war, like if it was about the Ukraine war that's been happening, and something that might change my perspective on politics, it's very important for me to have all of this additional information. I definitely do feel empowered by what I've learned here because I now know so much more about the way that this entire thing works and the way the internet itself functions. But if there's any downside to all this education, when I'm sitting and scrolling on YouTube, I don't really want to do all that extra work but I feel obligated to. The burden of great responsibility that these students have, yet so many students around the state without a media literacy program are still lacking. In Princeton, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News. Yeah.